Reality TV stars Christina and Tarek Al Moussa seemed to be living the American dream until a nature hike gone wrong ended with one of them in handcuffs, with a divorce on the way. Christina Hawk began dating future ex-husband and fellow real estate agent Tarek Al Moussa back in 2006, tying the knot three years later. After the 2008 financial crisis, the couple began cashing in on their skills at renovating rundown houses that they sold at a profit. Their house flipping efforts captured the attention of TV producers, and the couple was tapped to star in their own show titled Flip or Flop. Premiering in 2013, ratings for Flip or Flop were through the roof, leading Christina and her husband to become HGTV's hottest new stars. While the show's popularity grew, so too did the pressure on their marriage, widening cracks that had already started to form. In a 2017 interview with People, Christina said, "...like any couple, we had our fair share of issues, but we went through a lot in a short amount of time." Following the birth of their daughter Taylor in 2010, Christina and Tarek Al Moussa encountered infertility issues while trying to have a second child. In the midst of that, Tarek was diagnosed with thyroid cancer. While he was treated with radiation, Christina struggled to keep it together. She told People, "...I had never even known anyone with cancer, so it was a very scary time." The doctor came out, I could just tell by his face, and he said it's cancer and it spread to his lymph nodes and I like literally just fell on the floor crying." At the same time, she was undergoing IVF treatment, which resulted in a 2014 pregnancy that sadly ended in a miscarriage. In 2015, they welcomed their son Brayden. Their busy schedules, however, demanded that Christina return to work just four weeks after giving birth. She said, "...it was too soon for me. I was overwhelmed. The tension between me and Tarek was high. We weren't able to properly communicate anymore. It got to the point where we weren't even driving to set together." The tensions that had been building up within the marriage of Christina and Tarek Al Moussa came to a head in May 2016, in a police incident involving a gun. Several months later, the couple announced their separation in a joint statement to People. Like many couples, we have had challenges in our marriage. We had an unfortunate misunderstanding about six months ago, and the police were called to our house in an abundance of caution. There was no violence and no charges were filed. Tarek offered more insight into the incident in his 2024 book, Flip Your Life, How to Find Opportunity in Distress, in Real Estate, Business, and Life. According to him, after an argument with Christina, he decided he needed to clear his head by going for a hike and brought a handgun with him in case he encountered any dangerous wildlife. He didn't realize Christina had called 911 until he was taken into custody by police and placed in handcuffs. He wrote, "...for the next several hours, I sat on a cooler on my driveway handcuffed. That was the very last time we were together as a family, with Christina walking down the driveway, crying, and me sitting there in handcuffs, asking myself, what in the world is going on?" Soon after announcing that he and his wife Christina had separated, Tarek Al Moussa filed for divorce. In their joint statement, the two indicated that while their marriage may be over, their co-parenting and business partnership was not. That became evident when Christina and Tarek continued to soldier on for HGTV, working together on new episodes of Flip or Flop. During a joint appearance on the Today Show, Al Moussa said, "...it's part of who we are and what we do, and for us to just throw everything away, it just wasn't worth it." The tension between the two was palpable during the interview, and it was clear the two weren't entirely comfortable working together. We I never know what we're gonna get with her. One oh day she's great, gosh. one day she's he's, like crazy. He's literally talking about himself right oh, now. Oh, excuse me, see as, how she as, tries to manipulate after me? This Years later, Christina admitted to Us Weekly that their relationship at the time was far thornier than they had let on in that 2018 interview. There were hard, tense days, but it wasn't a reality show based on a marriage. It was still about the houses, so that made it easier. We had to show up, do our jobs, and then went home and didn't have to talk to each other. After splitting up with Tarek Al Moussa, Christina began dating businessman Doug Spedding. That relationship, however, didn't last long, with Christina calling it quits in October 2017 after being hit with a double whammy when she discovered he had cheated on her and had also started using drugs again. A source told In Touch Weekly, Christina encouraged him to go back to rehab. Christina is the type of person who sees the best side of others, and that's how she was with Doug. She just wanted to help him. In January 2018, Christina and Tarek's divorce was finalized. Around that same time, she revealed she was in a relationship with British television host Ant Anstead. They had reportedly been dating since the previous November, around the same time she ended things with Spedding. Christina posted about the new relationship on Instagram, gushing, "...and suddenly, you know. It's time to start something new and trust the magic of a new beginning. New year, new beginnings. 2018 is going to be a great year filled with new experiences, challenges, and blessings. Excited for the next chapter." And it was just love at first sight. 
the romance between Christina and Aunt Anstead took off like a rocket. After a whirlwind courtship, the pair tied the knot at the end of 2018 in a covert wedding ceremony they managed to keep under wraps. She told People, "...we pulled off the perfect surprise wedding. Seeing the happy tears of friends and family was priceless." A few months after the wedding, Christina shared a since-deleted Instagram post revealing that she and Anstead were expecting a baby together. Right on schedule, the couple's son arrived in September 2019. Anstead posted on Instagram in another since-deleted post, "...welcome to the world. Hudson London Anstead, I am in awe. Mummy and baby are simply perfect." Ex-husband Tarek Al Musa told TMZ Live, "...I'm excited for her new chapter in life, and they're a great couple, and I really do hope the best for them." Less than two years after the couple's nuptials, the relationship between Christina and Aunt Anstead unraveled. In November 2020, she issued a social media post to reveal that they were splitting up. "...Aunt and I have made the difficult decision to separate. We are grateful for each other, and as always, our children will remain our priority. We appreciate your support and ask for privacy for us and our family as we navigate the future." Aunt later shared his own comments about the dissolution of the marriage when he took to Instagram to say that it was Christina, not him, who decided to call it quits. He he wrote, "...anyone who really knows me knows that I don't like to share private matters publicly. I have remained silent while holding on to hope. I never gave up on us. I pray Christina's decision brings her happiness." Ant admitted to People that he was devastated by his ex's abrupt decision to end their relationship. It really hit me hard. The impact on me, my sleep, my diet, my stress, it showed. He eventually moved on in spectacular style when he embarked on a relationship with movie star Renee Zellweger. While her first marriage ended relatively amicably, that was not the case with Christina's second divorce. That became clear from the contentious legal battle that erupted over custody of their son Hudson. That conflict took a messy turn when Anstead filed legal documents expressing his concerns about Hudson being exploited due to plans for him to appear in his ex's HGTV series, Christina on the Coast. In the documents, he wrote, "...the risks for a child working on a television production set, even if that set is Christina's home, are innumerable and well-documented. It is my goal to ensure that Hudson is allowed a childhood that is joyful, healthy, and natural, with as few stresses as possible, and this should be prioritized above creating commercial opportunity and content." The divorce was finalized in 2021. In late 2022, People reported that the exes had settled their dispute, agreeing to joint custody of Hudson. A year later, Christina expressed in an Instagram post that their fight over custody shouldn't have taken place. "...last Mother's Day, I was in a very bad place, going through an extremely unnecessary custody battle." In the midst of finalizing her divorce with Aunt Anstead, a new man entered Christina's life, realtor Joshua Hall. An insider told Us Weekly that Hawk and Hall first met a few years earlier at a real estate conference, while she was still married to Anstead. In the spring of 2021, the two wound up reconnecting, and sparks flew. That July, she took to Instagram to confirm she was in a new relationship with Hall and had waited to announce it for privacy reasons. "...I met Josh when I wasn't in a state of fear or fight or flight. I felt immediately crazy protective over him and wanted to keep him for myself and get to know each other before the tornado media attention hit. We've had a few solid months of just us getting to know each other, and I've loved every second of it." In September 2021, the HGTV star announced that Hall had popped the question, and she said yes. The following January, she addressed online criticism that the relationship was moving too quickly when she wrote on Instagram, "...too fast, too soon, too blah blah blah. That feeling of pure bliss slash those deep convos, love is what it is." Christina and Joshua Hall tied the knot after being together for just over a year, with the couple sharing photos in September 2022 from the couple's destination wedding in Hawaii. Josh wrote on Instagram, "...a week ago, I married the best friend I could ask for, just the way we wanted, our way, and with some of the closest people to us." A week later, I can't help but feel grateful for all that made the trip out and made us feel the love. While some fans felt the marriage had happened too quickly, it turned out that the couple had gotten married even earlier than they let on. According to court documents that were subsequently obtained by People, the pair had actually married in April 2022, but had kept it under wraps until September. In July 2024, Christina Hall spoke with E! News, sharing her hopes for the coming year. She said, "...I need things to be more peaceful and calm and just want to be more present and, overall, less chaos, less drama." That cryptic cry for peace made a lot more sense when just days later, TMZ reported that her husband, Josh Hall, had filed for divorce. Court documents indicated the date of their separation was July 8, 2024, days before E! News published its interview. "...I am not a romantic. 
by any means. The announcement of their split was particularly inconvenient for HGTV, given that the exes had signed on to star in a new series called The Flip Off. The premise was provocative, with the Halls facing off in a house-flipping battle against her ex-husband, Tarek Al Musa, and his second wife, Heather Ray Al Musa. TMZ also reported that in his divorce filing, Josh was seeking spousal support from Christina, and also asked that a judge grant him the rights to any television projects in which he appeared with his spouse. People subsequently confirmed from sources that HGTV was moving forward with the series, but without Josh. Going through three divorces within less than a decade was clearly not something that Christina Hall had intended. In fact, a source told Life & Style that she and Joshua Hall had struggled mightily to rescue their relationship as it crumbled, but just couldn't fix what had become broken. Christina and Joshua just weren't on the same page anymore. She really tried to make this marriage work, but it wasn't happening. While the nature of those efforts to save the relationship weren't made clear at the time, Christina was reportedly keenly aware of the optics of having yet another marriage implode under the harsh glare of the media spotlight. The source said, "...the last thing she wanted was to be divorced for the third time. That was never on her vision board. Those hopes that love would conquer all were apparently behind her decision to marry Joshua without a prenuptial agreement, a factor that could cost her some big money in the long run.